Okay, welcome back. In the previous video, we looked at creating a dynamic background that stretched the whole width of our app. We're now going to play a little bit with some buttons and formatting of buttons, which might become useful to you as you start to design your own applications. So you looked at buttons previously. So you know the basic structure. We know that we need to have an action. Uh, and then for, for that, we can have a closure. Uh, what you may not know is previously we were just printing inside here, but obviously if you want to have uh, a bit higher level of abstraction or you have quite a, a complicated function that you want to call, uh, we can generate that. So underneath our main struct is where we can declare our functions. I'm going to keep this simple for now, but I just wanted to show you where you can actually call those. So then within my button action, I can then call button pressed. Okay, so that's my action. I then need to have what my button actually looks like. So previously, uh, we were using text, uh, but we can, in a similar way, use images. So then I just need to use an image of my asset. I'm using this one called marker. So we can see we now have a button which is in place of an image. 